Ian, what are your thoughts after that one? Um, we came here today with a with a plan where we had to try and can contain the opposition because we watched the games they played this season and, and even last season they kept a lot of players together added as well. But with their style of play that we, we knew that if we'd release out and go and chase them that we'd leave gaps and they exploit the gaps. So we had to make sure our shape got right and I thought first half we were okay, they got in. They got in through a little ricochet and it's a great finish from Goldrick. But um we, we just didn't manage the ball well enough when we won the ball back. We, we were just a little bit sloppy today in possession. Um, and then in the end, like I say, it was it was a fair result. The first goal in particular, the way it rebounds to David McGoldrick, is that just the kind of feeling of the things that are going against your side at the moment? Listen, you can't moan about luck and things like that. It's, it has ricocheted lovely for him. Jordan's jumped out and been aggressive with his tackle and it's ricocheted well for him. But, um, but that happens and you've got to get on with it. You know, we stay compact and we, we, had, we had a couple of good chances, Kieran Morris in particular first half. And um, we've got to take them. We knew that we wouldn't get as many today, so we had to take our opportunities. And then second half, I thought we started the second half really well, but again, we were turning the ball over. And they had a spell of five minutes where they really put pressure on us and scored the second. And, and then it's about how we can try and change it to get back in the game. Um, we did. Again, when we changed it, we left gaps open and they got through us at times, but we, we had a little bit more going forward. But in the end, um, we get a goal back and could have managed the game in the last couple of minutes a bit better, but I had a couple of half chances. But like I say, there's no um, there's no grumblings about the result. They're a very good team, and we didn't we didn't just manage it well enough in certain moments. That period you're talking about, I think they hit the, the woodwork three times in five minutes before the second goal. Why, why was it so difficult to stop that 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 passage of play? They're a good team. They know what they're doing. They know that when they get in wide areas, they're firing across your goal and they're putting you under stress in the box. And we have have to deal with them. We dealt with a couple of them, and then eventually it was just that final ball too many. And just as we were trying to make changes as well, because we knew we, knew we need to freshen it up a little bit. Um, and then the second goal, they can take control of the, the result at, the, at that moment in time. It's about us getting back into the game. How frustrating is it when you see the final 20 minutes and the chance your side's created and obviously getting back in the game through Josh Hawks? How, how frustrating is it that you couldn't perform from that earlier on in the game? The last 20 minutes was different. If we open up like that in the first 20 minutes, we'd probably go and get, leave ourselves really exposed at the back. We, 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 we couldn't have played like, like that. We've teams, we just know that what they're like and what they do. And bear in mind that they, were, they had an injured player towards the end, so we could commit more players forward and about that moment of doing it. Like I say, if we'd have done that from the off, then we'd have left massive gaps everywhere and been exposed. When you look at, say, in the final stoppage time as well, just sending balls forward, did you want your side to be a bit more creative in that moment? Yeah, it's a balance, isn't it? So you look at it, you, 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 you're trying to work it into areas to get the ball forward. The lads know that there's, the time's running down. But they need to be just a little bit more composed at times and get it into the wider areas and, and, and put better quality balls in. In the end, we did put one or two in and we nearly got the equaliser at the end. But like I say, we can't grumble about the result. The result was fair. I've got to ask injury wise, how close was Luke Norris to making today? Um, again, he's getting assessed and scanned at the moment, so we don't really know the, um, the extent of that one. And in terms of the away record, it, it, it's eight games winless now, it's not since February. It, is it a mental thing as much as just getting over the line and getting three points away from home? I don't think so, no. I don't think the players even uh, like make themselves fully aware of it. Because if, you, if you're too aware of it, it can maybe bog you down. But they just focus on the performance and, and getting the performance right. And today it was just a couple of moments in the game when we had our shape that they got in. And um, listen, it was more than a couple of moments. They had a spell in, in the second half of five minutes where it was... Um, relentless and we need to just get through that and if we did we, did, we, we might have been okay but like I say it's, I don't think they're, um, they're too bogged down with that I think they just focus on the performance. When you look ahead to the Leicester game now in terms of having lost four from five in the league does that alter your stance in any way going into that game on Tuesday? No it's always focus on the next game and prepare the right way for the next game and try and get a result and we'll do no difference on Tuesday against Leicester. When you see a team like Leicester coming, regardless of what side they bring out, are you expecting a heightened performance from your side earlier on in the game? I think against Leicester, I think again, you've got to manage the game properly. Um, and game management is always important. If you, if you jump out your shape too early in the game, then you get picked off, especially against teams like Leicester. So we've just got to make sure we watch them uh, closely and make sure we get our, our shape right and um, make sure we give them a threat to worry about. Um, but you look at today again, the fans were great again today. The fans travelled in the numbers and they were, they were cheering right to the end and credit to them. 
How close do you think your side are from getting the results that you've said that the performances have deserved in the opening games? Yeah, I, I think today's different. Um, I think in the other games, I look at the, the, the performance overall and thought we could have could have got more from the game. I think today's a little bit different. I think the result we can't, like I say, we can't can't question it really. I thought they deserved to win the game. Um, it wasn't through lack of effort from the players and lack of trying. It was just they just had a little bit more than us on the day and we've got to make sure that we move forward to Tuesday and plan and prepare.